Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We've been fortunate enough to be partnering with New York State for eight years now. This is our 16th air show today. It's, it's about families, it's about our legacy with Grumman and the airplanes, it's about Memorial Day, and about the, summer, the start of summer at Jones Beach, you know, so it was perfect for us. And our families, all our kids are here. Plus, uh, we invite all the not-for-profit partners that we have, the charities, the state, the military's here. Some politicians are here, companies that we do business with, the whole gamut. But most importantly, they all bring their families and the kids are all playing together and it's, it's just a great day. The air show has been really cool. I saw them like go upside down, it was really scary. Yeah. Well, we've been watching the airplanes and we thought it was really cool and we were making this like little fort that we could hang out, hang out in and it was really fun. This is the Air Guard Mobile Recruiting Unit. And what we have here is we have the recruiters from the local 106 Rescue Wing talking to folks about all the many opportunities and benefits and the New York Air Guard. And behind me is our gyro ride and that simulates the gyro so that pilots do feel when they're doing aerobatic maneuvers up in the air. And they're loving the ride but they're also asking more about, you know, does this really simulate what you might feel in an airplane? And yes, it does simulate what you might feel in an airplane when you're doing aerobatics like John Glatt does up in the air every day. This show has hit uh, 500,000 people. It ranks up there in one of the largest events in New York State, next to maybe some of the stuff that happens in the city. Um, and it has. It's become a family tradition. People come with their kids. We've seen people's kids grow up over the years. And we're partnering for the second year in a row with um, the United Way's Live United campaign. We're giving away t-shirts. I support military family t-shirts for a donation of $10. Um, you can get them here or in any of our branches for the next couple of weeks and um, on Flag Day, June 14th, we're asking everybody to wear them, um, to be Live United on Long Island and 100% of the proceeds support Long Island military families. Last year we raised $30,000 and we're hoping to double that. So this is the second year and Beth Page has been an incredible partner with United Way. Um, they're a wonderful organization. These t this t-shirt sale is to support military families on Long Island. There are over 5,000 people who are reservists today between Nassau and Suffolk County. So we're raising money. We'll raise $100,000 in two days to help military families with emergency financial assistance, mental health services, job training, and so much more. And living united means just living a quality life by giving, giving to your community, supporting your neighbors in need, volunteering and advocating for people who really need services. We live united together as a community, we give back to those that are in need, and we support the community across uh, all dimensions of it. And it's something that Beth Page believes a lot in. We, we think credit unions were formed to help everybody, but particularly those that are in need of financial services, but in need, period. And that's why we do these things. We think the air show is part of that, but so much of the work that we do with not-for-profits and communities uh, and underserved communities are a part of what we do. This is one of the great events, not just for Long Island or for New York, but for America. It's one of the largest air shows in the country. People come out. It's all about family. It's all about kids, teaching our kids how great our military is. It's just a great day. Whether I'm here in America or abroad, I always meet with our soldiers. They are the most amazing people, and they're what the best of America is. And, you know, last month it wasn't an accident that we got Bin Laden. It took a lot of work and a lot of courage by the military, the intelligence, everybody. And you know, it's a good day to give credit both to President Bush, who started things moving, and President Obama, who finished the job. It's a great day for America. And now the war on terror isn't over, but we've turned the corner. We've beat the bad guys.